Hey everyone, this is David Koger at Coforma. I'll be giving a brief demo today of the medical loss ratio report data collection tool that we've built inside the MDCT application. So when you first log in to MDCT for the managed care reporting, you'll be landing on a page that for anybody who's filled out the Mac bar will look very familiar. Now for new users, we'll kind of walk you through what you're seeing here. So on your landing page, what you'll be looking at is a couple of cards related to different reports in the managed care reporting system. The one that we're going to be looking at today is the medical loss ratio report card here. And as you can see, there's two options made available to you. The first is to download the MLR Excel reference. And when you click on this button, you'll be able to download that Excel reference sheet. Uh, now, most states have already accessed this and will have it in, in their uh, computers when they get to this point of entering the report, but if you ever need to download it again, here is where you'll be able to find it. What we're going to be focusing on today is entering the MLR online report. That's the second option here. So I'll go ahead and click into this. Now, as you can see, this is an area where you're able to see previously submitted or currently in progress or revision reports. Now, just a couple of notes here. We have instructions that are available under this accordion dropdown. Uh, these are pulled from the Excel template themselves. But if you want to see or close that, you can click this little icon here. Um, and as you can see, there's some submissions already submitted or in progress. What we're going to want to do is come down here to the Add New MLR Submission and go ahead and start that up. Generally, CMS expects you to submit an MLR report when you submit your annual base rate certifications. You can report multiple MLRs in the same MLR submission. CMS recommends identifying the applicable program and rating period in the submission name. So for example, you might name your new MLR submission something like Nevada SFY 2021 MLRs, or in this case, we're going to go ahead and use New Jersey Family Care Calendar Year 2022. Whatever will help you differentiate your MLR reports over time. Once you've chosen the appropriate name, go ahead and hit save. So as you can see, we're now creating that report and it is now available in your dashboard. One thing I wanted to note is that if you need to make a change to this submission name at any point, you can come and hit this icon right here and it'll take you right back into that modal where you can make any changes that you need to. We'll go ahead and leave it the same for now. As you can see, the report's now showing up in my dashboard, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So to get an enter into the report, you're going to go ahead and edit this edit CTA right here. Go ahead and load that up. And as you can see, you're brought immediately into the primary contact information page. So um, as you can see here, one of the things that we try to do within these reports is pre-populate any information that we can based on the information we know about the user. So in this situation, we know that this particular login is from the state of Massachusetts. So it will auto-populate that into the field here so that you don't have to enter it yourself. I'm going to go ahead and enter some contact information because these are required fields. Go ahead and put in an email address. Title and agency name. Now, as you can see, as I'm entering in this information, each of those fields is being saved automatically. So you don't have to worry about hitting any save buttons in this application. You just enter in the fields, and as there, as the information is entered, we're automatically saving it to the form, saving that that need to go and hit a hit a save button there. Right here, you'll see a version control. Uh, on the first pass, this is not uh, an, a field that you can uh, make any changes to, but if you were to get your submission sent back to you, it will automatically move to the yes, this is a resubmission uh, to indicate that the report is a resubmission. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. So on this page, what you'll see is the medical Medicaid medical loss ratio and remittances forms. There's some more instructions here that can be shown by clicking and closing the, the accordion there. One thing we wanted to point out is that there is these uh, wayfinders that we've included. So throughout the portal, you'll see references to where this information is found in the Excel template. So if you've already filled out the Excel template and are just trying to copy over into the online form, you can use these references to make sure that you're following along correctly. So once we get to this page, we're going to go ahead and add information about the specific plans that we're reporting MLRs for. You'll click this Add Program Reporting Information and fill out the form for each plan separately. Go ahead and click that. As you can see, this modal pops up that asks for some specific information. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and I'll add Plan A here. 
and then list which programs I'm reporting the MLR for with this plan. So in many cases, you'll have just one program to list, but if the plan provides services across multiple programs and the MLR is aggregated across those programs, then you'll need to list all of those programs out here. So here, I'll pretend that I've aggregated this plan's MLR across two programs. So I'll add them here. Program ABC. And then to delineate between any programs, we're going to ask that you put a comma in between. So program ABC and program XYZ. As you can see that I'm reporting on these two programs here. When you come down, you can select program type. In this case, I'm going to select comprehensive MCO and MLTSS. This is a multi-select field. So if you do have more than one, you can just select the ones that are applicable. Now, moving down to the eligibility group, we've included some additional instruction here uh, related to reporting for CHIP that's separate or um, for Support Act reporting, just additional context there. We're going to go ahead and select all populations. And then as you move down to the reporting period start date, we'll go ahead and put a date in here. I'll show that there is some conditional logic that's built into this reporting period date. So we're not going to allow a user to come in and add any dates that are pre the start date. So you can see that it's telling me now I need to have an end date that can't be before the start date. So we'll go ahead and correct that. And again, those are just more methods to continue to create um, completion within the report of correct information. So we're gonna go ahead and on the reporting period discrepancy, if you select yes, you'll be given an option to explain the reporting period discrepancy. If you select no, you won't. So just a note there that yes will provide an additional option and field for you to put information, no removes it. The last field in here is a miscellaneous notes area. So this is an opportunity to include any additional notes or details for CMS that are related to your submission. We don't have any additional notes, so we'll go ahead and leave that blank. So as you can see, I hit save, and now we have a card here that is created for the plan that I had just entered. So the icon that you're seeing here is indicating that there's still work to be done here for completion. And we have some instruction here that says select enter MLR to complete this report. So we're going to go ahead and enter MLR. Now, once you get here, you'll see additional instructions, again, on an, a collapsible accordion, a wayfinder for the Excel template, information about the plan and the programs, as well as the populations and the reporting date that were entered in the previous page, and then a series of fields that are both optional and required. All optional fields will be marked with optional. All required fields will show no optional next to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through and complete this form based on the required fields. So go ahead and come down here. Now on the remittance part, I'm going to go ahead and select no here, hit save and return. And as you can see, if you missed any of the required fields, it's going to bring you to that field and require you to fill it in. So we provide red inline text and a highlighter on the box. I'll go ahead and complete that required field, hit save and return. And as you can see, now I have a green check mark and I've completed this plan. Now we know that you will likely have multiple plans which you need to enter in MLR information. So you'll need to click this button again and then repeat the process for each of the plans you're reporting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of show you what that looks like. This is a test plan. This. Alrighty, and as you can see, now we have a completed plan and an incomplete plan. Now you can try to continue through to the review and submit, but what you'll see when you get here is a comprehensive overview of the report itself, uh, both with a red banner here that will explain that some sections of the MLR submission have errors or missing required responses, as well as which sections those errors exist in. So as we look at this, you see MLR reporting, there's an error here. I can either go back to it on the left-hand side menu, or I can hit edit and it will take me directly to it. So when I hit edit, it takes me directly into this and I can see that I still need to enter the MLR information. So let me go ahead and come in here. And as you can see, it now highlights all the fields that I need to fill out based on the submit um, and review page. So we'll go ahead and come down here enter in the required fields. 
and hit save and return. And now you can see that we have two completed plans here. Now, when I continue to the submission page, now you can see I no longer have a red banner. My submission is complete. All the fields have been filled out. The submit MLR button is now available for me to submit the MLR. Before I do that, I may wanna review my answers. You can go back and review them individually on each page, or you can review PDF. Now, when you click this button, it's going to bring you to a PDF overview of the report that you just submitted. So as you can see here, it has all the information that I've already entered into the report, all available on a single page. This can be downloaded or printed out, whichever is easier for you. Go ahead and come back to this. Now we we're ready to submit. We're going to go ahead and hit submit MLR. And when we do that, you're going to be brought to this modal that's going to just double confirm with you that you're ready to submit. Um, noting that if you do the submission, you will not be able to make edits unless CMS unlocks the report for you, which is an action that you'll need to take by reaching out to your counterparts at CMS. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit because we feel pretty good about what we've entered here. Awesome. So now we have a successfully submitted report. There is information related to both the state and the name of the report that was submitted and an option to review the PDF as well. You've now completed the form. So let's go ahead and leave form. And we come back to the dashboard. Now, as you can see on the dashboard, my report is now in a submitted status. I can only go in and view it. So if I was to select this, you'll see I can see all the information, but I cannot change any of it. The only way to get access to this again is to reach out to CMS and have them unlock the report. Now, if at any point you're going through the application and you have any questions or trouble, you can go to the Get Help page, which is located up here in the top left corner of the screen, and it will show you both of the email addresses to contact. So you have an mdct underscore help at cms.hhs.gov for technical issues and then a managed care TA at cms.hhs.gov for any policy related questions. Please do not hesitate to reach out with any questions and we look forward to seeing, you, seeing your MLR submissions start coming through the MDCT managed care reporting system in the coming months. Thank you.